This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Web Development 2, Level 9 JavaScript Affinement. Goals. Defeat the Fions. Collect the coins. Now you'll need to write your own function. We've given you pickup coin as an example, but you need to create an attack enemy. Ooh. Function attack enemy. So a function you can think of somewhat like a loop. It will, we're going to run all of the code inside of it. Although, the only way you can ask the computer to run the code inside of the function is by writing the name of it somewhere else. So it's a chunk of code. I'll show you. All right. So what do we got here? Uh, remember, these are comments slash slash. The computer skips over it, but they're helpful for us programmers. Find the nearest enemy and attack it if it exists. Okay. Write the attack enemy function below. All right. So how do I write a function? Well, if I look up here, this is a function. I'm going to write function attack and then enemy so the names are like variables you can't have spaces or anything like that i then need two parentheses opening and closing curly bracket enter i'm gonna hit enter twice and close it right away so i don't forget okay and what do i want to do find the nearest enemy and attack them if they exist ah so in this i want to do find nearest enemy great i have this variable enemy so right now I ask my hero to look around. Hey hero, if you see someone, name that enemy enemy. If my hero doesn't see anyone though, enemy still exists, right? This variable enemy would exist, but it would equal nothing. And so we're going to use this if statement that asks the computer if enemy, if enemy exists, if enemy equals something, the computer says true, you saw an enemy. What do we want to do? Oh, then you want to attack. If my hero looks around and sees no one, enemy equals zero, nothing. And the computer would say, if enemy, false, no enemy. Jumps beneath this, doesn't run this code, and then ends the function and keeps running wherever we call it. All right, so that should be good on the function-wise. Now, a, a function can only run if you ask the computer to run it. So this pickup coins does nothing right now. It just is a block of code. Now, if I write pickup coins somewhere, the computer will then hunt around and say, oh, what's that mean? What's that mean? Oh, okay, this. Drop in and then run the code inside of it. Once it hits the bottom, it will return back to wherever it was. So they even gave us this big hint. You want to write that? Okay. I'm going to leave this comment, whatever. Attack enemy. I can get rid of this. And so what's going to happen is, while true, this is a loop. It runs automatically. And then we're going to run attack enemy. The computer hunts around for attack enemy. Where's that? Oh, here it is. I'm going to get rid of this just for clarity. And the computer says, okay, drops in and runs this code. Once it's done running that, it comes back to here, drops below, runs the next line, pick up coins. Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, here it is. Runs this code, hits the bottom, loops back around again and again. Let's try it. Oh, great. So this is what worked for me. And if you don't understand this, you're not going to understand the next one. So go back and listen to me explain it, because it's just going to get brutal from here. All right, let's keep going.